Uh, my name is Aditi. I'm a product manager at DevRev out of our Austin office, and I'm here today with Rohan from Spintly. Rohan, I'll let you introduce yourself. Hey, Aditi. Nice to meet you. Nice to talk to you again. I'm Rohan. I'm co-founder and CEO of Spintly, and Spintly is an access control company. We enable smart access for users in office spaces, co-working spaces, using their smartphones or wearable devices. Uh, we focus on uh, simplifying how people access properties. Awesome. And you folks are located in Bangalore. Is that correct? Uh, so we've located in uh, Bangalore, Goa, and in uh, San Jose. Awesome. Great. And can you tell me a bit about your biggest pain points and challenges prior to using DevRev? Yeah, so um, biggest pain point was being able to convey the customer problems to our developers, right? Uh, and having them work on it and prioritize what issues they need to work upon, correct? Uh, so I think that was the biggest pain point. We were using a bunch of tools trying to figure this out. And that's when we came across DevRev, which, which seemed like an end-to-end -end, uh, system, you know, which connects to developers all the way to the customers, right? Yeah, so that that's that's that was the biggest pain point we're trying to solve with DevRev. Got it. And I assume you assessed other tools in the market. Can you tell me a bit about why you selected DevRev over the many other tools that are out there? Yeah, so there were multiple tools. Right? So for us to solve this problem, we 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 had to resort to multiple tools. Right? One is sales CRM. Then we use a ticketing software, right? and then an issue tracking system internally for our developers, and then trying to create these integrations and make these integrations work seamlessly. Right? So uh, having to use multiple tools to achieve this was the biggest problem. Right? So we used uh, Freshdesk for CRM. We tried other uh, CRM um, ticketing tools also. Uh, obviously for issues, we used Jira. And then, so we tried various tools, um, but we didn't find one tool which would solve this problem. Got it. And kind of along those lines, DevRev, uh, you know, strives to do a lot of different things that are typically done in different tools. Can you talk about your starting point with DevRev and then how it's currently being used in your organization? Yeah. So we started by just using it as a ticketing tool, right? But th then we realized that, you know, DevRev was very product centric, right? Where it, it you could actually define your product and its features and modules in the system itself, right? And even up to the level of microservices. Uh, and so that, so we slowly started getting into that, right? Where we, we took tickets, then we started using, um, tying these tickets to the parts or the modules, software modules, and then it would flow to the developers, right? So at the end of it now, we're trying to get more and more developers to on the platform so that they can start getting used to receiving this notifications or tickets or issues uh, seamlessly without somebody having to assign it to them because they're already working on that module, right? So anything happens on that modules, it comes to them automatically. So I think we started with tickets, but now we are going into more of developers getting involved in it. Got it. And when you say tickets, is that tickets that are coming in from your customers or tickets that are internal to the organization? So before DevRev, what we would do is, yeah, we had a ticketing system and then somebody would study those tickets and start creating internal issues, right, for our developers. Uh, and that that becomes a subjective thing, right, where somebody has to really map those tickets to software modules and, you know, in GitHub, or who is owning this module. Uh, so when I say tickets, it was external tickets. And then within DevRev, we create issues, right? So when, as soon as we know that there is a uh, uh, issue, technical issue, just the issue is created, it automatically gets routed to the right person because he's tagged or he's part of that module. He's working on that module. Awesome. And are those tickets coming in using the plug widget? Now, yes. Initially, we created them. So I think thanks to the DevRev team, we got the email integration done. So it's tightly integrated with our emails. Uh, so customers can send us an email, it becomes a ticket or they can start a conversation through the plug widget on our web portal and our support team can directly converse with them and convert those into tickets as well. Awesome. Can you tell me about some of the benefits you're experiencing with having your conversations, tickets and issues all linked within DevRev? 
Yeah, so it's all in one place, right? So you don't have to go to multiple systems, right? So the ticket, the ticket conversation, which is more of the front end conversation with the customer remains in the front end. Right? And then once you create an issue, all the internal conversations are happening on issues and you can have uh, multiple tickets linked to one issue, right? So, and you can have a conversation on that issue because once you solve that issue, all these 10 tickets, for example, can get resolved, right, automatically. Um, so I think it's a good, good, there's a line. And in fact, we have drawn a line in the organization saying that, hey, you are the dev side person. We are almost using the same terminologies now. You're the dev side person, you're the rev side person, right? Awesome, that's awesome to hear. It took us some time too to get the whole organization on board with the terminology and now we don't speak any other way. So I'm, I'm glad to hear it's been <laughs> similar for you folks. Okay, great. Can you tell me about any specific features that really stood out to you? On the platform, I think I think plug is a great feature uh, where which can integrate within our websites and also when we're not trying to get that integrated with our app. So we are a consumer centric and user centric platform uh, product, right? And so that is a great thing. I think the other thing which stood out for is the product centricity, right? You can define your product in a very visual manner in DevRev, right? So you can actually have all the parts defined, how they're linked to each other. You can go down deeper, right? So it's a very product-centric approach. I think that's something which we really liked. Awesome. And have you found that that's helped you improve your customer experience? Yeah, uh, I think the biggest thing which we found is <clears throat> developers are actually now coming to know, or they're, uh, they're able to prioritize what are the issues they can fix, right? Because the information is reaching to them seamlessly. Because we now we are using these tags to tag tickets and issues, so we can easily sort them out. Saying that this particular tag has the most issues. Right? So as the faster we solve issues, the better our customer experience becomes. So yes, definitely we are able to prioritize the issues which we want to work upon. Got it. Great. And then just a last question. What's on Spintly's roadmap for the upcoming year and how does DevRev kind of fit into those goals? Um, Spintly's roadmap is to continuously build a uh, customer-centric product which focus on, focuses on the user, end user, right? And uh, I think the product centricity of DevRev is very much aligned with it and um, how DevRev can actually deeply integrate with a uh, user or the product which we are building, right? Especially the plug, we want to make plug as an integral part of our app and the mob and the web applications, right? So we feel that that will give us uh, the ability for our teams to directly talk to the end users who are using the product and get that the first hand feedback right? through the plug integrations and things like that. So I think. Uh, the, the goal to build a user-centric uh, product is what uh, aligns with what DevRev is doing. Awesome. Great. Well, thank you so much, Rohan. It was a pleasure speaking with you. Same here. Thanks. Thanks for having me and nice talking to you, Aditi.